down on father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello everyone, this is Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm kicking off my new web series. And in this web series, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to basically take, you know, prominent Japanese PSP games that were popular in Japan but never made it outside of Japan for the PSP and how to patch those games into English. I'm going to be doing primarily not all of the Japanese games, unfortunately, since not all of them have patches. But I'm going to be doing most of the, you know, bigger titles that were you know showcased out from the PSP's lifespan so for today we're gonna be doing that hack link uh, that's one of from the dot hack series so if you are a fan of that RJRPG then you should know about the that uh, hack series so in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you on how to patch dot hack link into English and this method does work with the PlayStation Portable and Vita so if you're using a PSP that's modded um, you could go ahead and follow along with this tutorial if you don't know how to mod your PlayStation Portable I'll have a card right now to showcase on how to do that but as well this does work with a Hankako Vito or even a PSTV with all that fun stuff getting out the way as well please be sure to follow my social media so you'll never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel my goal is to try to update every single day um, as of right now but the best way on how to know when I drop my latest content is checking out my Twitter as well if you do want to support my channel you can feel free to donate via my PayPal any of the money that I may receive will Go down in the description below so you can just go ahead and check that out from there as well if you do want to support my community you could join my official discord any of um, questions you may have or if you want to talk to people from the hacking and modding community you could go ahead and check my discord via out from there but with all that fun stuff getting stated we could go ahead and get started on the prerequisites so the things you'll need and this is just for the Vita stuff I'm assuming that if you guys have a PSP you know kind of the basics but um if you still need help that's why I, you know, let y'all the guys know about my Discord and you could, you know, ask questions from there. But we're getting started with the prerequisites. You need a modded PlayStation Vita or PSTV via using the Hankaku HN Core or the Trinity Hack. Your system needs to be on 3.60 or 3.70 firmware. You also need the latest version of Vita Shell. You also need the latest version of Adrenaline. And I'm assuming that y'all guys already have the Adrenaline emulator already installed. Um, if you don't know how to install Adrenaline, I will have a card right now, and you. Can click on that video watch it and then you know get adrenaline installed and then you could come back to this video so we could be on the same page of course you'll need the dot hack link english patch dot iso i will have a link to the actually full patch english patch iso so you don't have to do anything with other programs i'll just have the official iso that's already patched i already did most of the work for that and then you could just go ahead and play your game that way and of course you need either filezilla ftv client or a usb cable to transfer your files over i do recommend you Using USB cable since uh, ISO files could range in the one gigabyte size and if you have not so good internet and you're doing it over for files of the FTP client it may take a little while but with all that fun stuff getting out the way I just want to give a special thanks to all my fans and supporters and as I stated before don't forget to join my discord if you need any help or if you just want to join my community with all that fun stuff getting out the way we could go ahead and get started on the PC portion side of things Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on the Vita side of things first. So of course, if you're using the HN Core or the Trinity Exploit or even the older 3.60 Hankaku Exploit, go ahead and run that and then just go ahead and boot into Vita Shell. But assuming that you guys already know how to boot into Vita Shell, I'm just going to do that right here on the screen. And then I'm going to explain some of the steps, what we need to figure out first, so we're all on the same page. And that's why I stated earlier that y'all guys already need adrenaline installed. So you could just look in the description below or just go into the intro and have the card. Because for this step, I'm going to be explaining now, we need to figure out if your PSP emu folder is in your um, UX0. So what we're going to do now is to go into UX0, scroll all the way down to PSP emu. Let me go ahead and find it. 
Oh, this is PlayStation 1 MU. Okay, here we go. So here is PSP MU right here. We need to go into this folder and we need to make sure that you guys have the ISO folder. If you don't have this ISO folder in all capital letters, what we need to do is make one. So on assuming if you don't have one, what you need to do is go into new, scroll all the way down to new folder, and then on your PlayStation TV or your Vita, just go ahead and you know capital letters, type in ISO like this. And assuming um, you already have this folder, just go ahead and hit enter. Since I already have the folder, that's why I got that little uh, error. But assuming that you already have it, what we need to do is just go into ISO. And this is where we're going to be dumping our games at. So if you ever, um, you know, use the Adrenaline emulator for the PlayStation Vita, this is where all of your PSP titles, whether if it's a CSO file or an ISO file, will go here. But assuming that you guys understand that process, what we also need to verify is that um, how we're going to be transferring our games over today. For today, I'm going to be showcasing on how to do this with FileZilla FTP client. But assuming that you guys already know how to transfer your stuff with a USB cable uh, via with just USB method, go ahead and take your USB cable, plug it into your PC and Vita now, and then hit start on your Vita or you know your PlayStation TV. Well, if you're using a PS TV, you have to use FTP. But if you're using your Vita, what you're going to do is go into USB and then FTP and just toggle it over. So if you're using a USB method, go ahead and have that and hit left and right on your D-pad for that, you know, section and then hit FTP if you're going to be transferring files that way. Assuming that you're going to be doing FTP just like me, what I'm going to be doing is just hitting select on my Vita. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on or you probably won't get this FTP server. But um, once you have the, your FTP server running, just leave your Vita still. And what we're going to do is go to our PC, boot up files of the FTP client, and then get dot hack link already transferred to our Vita so we can play our game. Alrighty guys, so as showcase here, here's the dot hack link English patch game. It's already patched in English, so you don't need any other files. All we're doing is just transferring this over from our PC to our Vita. So that's why we're gonna be opening up a uh, FileZilla FTP client. So once I'm into a uh, FileZilla FTP client, what we need to do is just go ahead and type in our IP. Yours will be, of course, different from mine's, but our reports will be the same. So one through three seven. Let me just back out of one. I can't even type today. Just go ahead and hit quick connect. If you get this insecure FTP connection error, what you need to do is just go ahead and hit OK. And then from there, what we need to do is go into UX0, go into PSP Emu, and then just drag our game to ISO and then just drag and drop from here. So once you already have that fully done, um, of course it will be made way much faster if you do it with the ISO method, or excuse me, not ISO method, but the USB method. But since it's going over Wi-Fi, it depends all on your speed. So what I'm gonna do here is just pause the video right now, um, wait for the game to you know fully transfer over, and then what we're gonna do is boot into Adrenaline. As long as I can remember it. A few moments later. Alright guys, so I showcased here basically my game has successfully transferred over. What we're going to do now is go back to our PlayStation Vita and then get this fully installed with Adrenaline. So I'll meet you guys for the Vita part. Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita. Let me just go ahead and open it up. What we need to do now is just go ahead and hit circle out of the FTP server. And then from here, we just need to verify if our game is in PSP MU. So what I'm gonna do is go to our, my PSP MU folder, go into ISO, and now you should see dot hack link already, uh, the actual ISO already into its directory. What we need to do now is just go ahead and back out of Vita shell. And then what we need to do is run adrenaline. So let me just go ahead and find adrenaline on my Vita. Okay, so here is adrenaline. And I do need to delete some games off my system. Didn't realize that I'm on like 40 megabytes. But as showcased here, um, I'm running it in adrenaline. As you hear, the adrenaline emulator sound coming from it, or the you know, the normal PSP boot sound. If I go into my memory stick scroll all the way down or actually just leave it right here you can see that dot hack link is already here along with my other uh psp emulators and stuff like that so let me just go ahead and run it i'm just gonna uh, turn down the volume due to like you know copyright reasons but the audio does work for this game um i already tested all of the stuff before um you know showcasing this in this video but I'm going to showcase that the game is in fully in English. So that's, you know, the whole purpose of this series, turning Japanese games into English with, you know, the patching methods from the PSP. But 
as showcased here right now uh, some text will be in Japanese like the main core but once we get into most of the patch so as showcased here you can see that's in English so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit circle it's gonna ask me to type in my uh, players name so this is what I'm gonna do here let me just go ahead and type in Nagato and just hit enter and then let me just go ahead and hit circle um, let me just hit no for this portion of this thing since I don't want it to uh, you know do the full step cannot be saved due to the memory stick delete save data required okay I think it's just uh, stating that I needed to delete some uh, save data real quick since I guess I have no space on my Vita right now so let me just back out from here and now it should be all fine if it's not working what I'm gonna do is just go to my settings real quick and then just delete uh, title right now I do apologize for this uh, you know a little error I got it's due to probably because I had too many games so it should be fine now so if I go back into adrenaline and then load up um, the game again it should be into English so I may just cut the video right here and then showcase that the game is fully booted into the main menu Alrighty guys, I'm sorry about for you know that little error that happened earlier But what we're gonna do is just go ahead and Prolong with the um, actual setup of the game just to showcase that the game is in English So let me just go ahead and type my name real quick on the screen And then right now it's just asking um, do I want to install save data or basically like the main save data because some like big PSP titles um they will ask you to install uh, the actual game data onto your system due to you know faster loading times and stuff I know Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep did that but as showcased here here is the game let me just skip this loading screen as you could tell the main menu is already in English let me just go ahead and start the new game and usually with Japanese games, I think you can actually remap the buttons. So circle will be basically to decline and X will be to select. But as you can see here, um, the game is in fully English. So if you guys did enjoy uh, this video, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to comment down below. If you have any issues within setting this up, go ahead and join my Discord. But with that being said, my name is Nagato. And I hope you guys are have an awesome weekend this weekend. And I'm signing out. Peace. So he's smooth.